Hello everybody and thank you for joining me today. My name is Gabriel Brent and today we are going to start the Appazones Swing Pum. Uh, just to start off with a list of assumptions, first off we're going to assume that you're familiar with the Appazones Trend Follow system and you're familiar with the Appazones software. Next, uh, we should probably say that we are doing a top-down approach starting with weekly, daily, and 60-minute slash four hour time frames and we have a wonderful market analyzer that tells us uh, what instruments to be looking at based upon our neural network software so with that being said let's go ahead and get started here today uh, we're going to start out with the uh, pound in and i do have my partner in crime and trading uh forex trading partner slash appazones community member william in the room with us here today. William, are you there? Yes, I am. Good deal. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the, the pound yen. I think it's really interesting about the, the news that's been going on in the pound world. And uh, actually, William, why don't you talk a little bit about that? I know that you've been following that pretty closely. Yeah, I'm talking about uh, the pound with the Brexit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, you know, they're in a, a bunch of hoopla's going on. Over the uh, the, Brit, the great British pound and the, them exiting the U, the, the the euro, and uh, you know basically that type of news is going to spark a bunch of volatility uh, when it comes to pound markets. And uh, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to stay or leave. But they're saying if they leave, if they leave, it's going to be bad. And they're saying if if they stay, they can. Uh, kind of, uh, you know, kind of uh, ride the storm out and, and, you know, things will get better later. They're saying if they leave, things could get really bad. I don't know what they're going to do. I just know it's going to cause a bunch of volatility in the markets, which means, you know, things could be, you know, if you're looking to get in on trades with the pound, uh, you know, any, any pair with the pound in it, it could be, you know, you can be seeing some pretty big swings. And just right now, even just this market here, the pound yen, you can see it's in a nice downtrend. It's just selling off. It's just been selling off for a long time. You see where it started way back when, and look where we're at now. You know, just a big sell-off. Like I said, I don't know that. I don't know what the, what they're gonna do, but I just know right now it's a good time to be a seller. <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, especially you know, maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't know how. how when, what day is this? What day is that? It's the first? Yep. The first of the month was a great time to be a seller. As you can see, you see the sell-off. And, you know, today's price action looks like we're, we might end up at, uh, today might end up being a hammer candle. So there could be some potential short-term buyers down here. Off uh, that weekly level, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the trend's down, and it's been down for quite some time now. And basically, you just want to be a seller. Well, not, well, if price, we might get a retracement back to this level up here. And if price gets back up to this aqua level, you might want to look and take a sell position off of it. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But basically, you just want to be a seller and wait for the proper opportunity to jump in on the sell side and jump in in short. You know, basically, uh, and I think that goes with all the pound markets right now. I think all of them are pretty much, uh, you know, selling off. Mm -hmm. so. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. It's, uh, it's probably a pretty good time to be short the pound. <laughs> Let's just put it yeah. that way. So, yeah. now, uh, yeah. I, I would say like today, days like today when there was like some major news coming out throughout the day, it was a little bit harder to get or to to get into a short, you know, if you're not already in it. So uh, be be aware of the news announcements, you know, uh, just because some of those monetary policies can can really hit you, you know. So oh, yeah. So don't don't be uh. Don't be completely naive to the news announcements. I, I don't, for the most part, I don't really care what they say. I, I just don't want to 
be, how should I put this? I don't want to be entering a trade because of a good opportunity just to see it like whipsaw you, you know. Now, I personally don't know if you guys use stops or not in your Forex trading. Uh, I know some people swear that they, they just don't use stops uh, because of X, Y, Z uh, of the brokers and whatnot. <laughs> So, wow. uh, uh, hey, it's it's a crazy world, but that's what they do, you know. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess every trade, you know, could be your last, uh, I guess. I, I don't know, yeah. you know. But, I mean, there, yeah. there's obviously, like, you could obviously put in, like, a uh, emergency, you know, flatten everything or something like that. But still, uh, a lot of my trades, I they last overnight, you know, so... Not having to stop really, really would uh, I think not be cool, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but hey, you know whatever works for you. Um, but anyway, just just be aware of uh, when the news announcements are in the market because um, that stuff can hurt you a little bit. So, anyway. Mm -hmm. um, Moving right along, let's move down to the pound New Zealand. Same type of deal, except this one's kind of interesting because while I don't have any levels right here, any weekly levels, the daily level we've been hitting and we've been consolidating off of this thing. So mm -hmm. I, I find that very interesting. Now, does it mean that this level's – well, Okay, price has respected this level to some degree, but it, it I don't feel like it means that price is necessarily going to stop here and reverse, okay? Uh, I would say that's still kind of a, a long, uh, that's a very counter-trend mentality, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that we would really need to see price get above the range, and then I would be looking for the pullback of all things. <laughs> so uh, to the long side, I would just be looking for, for something like this and, and possibly for a good pullback just because of where this pivot is over here, okay? And also looking at that, that gap area, you know? So mm -hmm. uh, those are the things that I would be looking for. Uh, but we're just going to draw the arrow to the downside Play the extremes of the range if we're in a range right now. Uh, play the extremes of it in the direction of trend, and that more often than not will be a really good trade to do. Okay? William, why don't you go ahead and take this instrument here? All right. All right, here we are, the Aussie CAD. Here we are. We're currently uh, testing this weekly uh, demand level. We've been bouncing around on and off of, you know, back and forth off of it for a couple of weeks now, a few weeks now. And like today, this week looks like we've been getting, you know, a nice move to the upside off of it. Okay. And here we are on a daily. You can see how price respected this brown level, came up off of it and created a new uh, demand zone. It's blue now. We came all the way to the bottom of it and came up out of it again. And here we are at this next level. So looks like we're starting an uptrend. Uh, don't know how far up this might go. Uh, it, could, it could possibly be stopping here at this aqua level and back down to the downside. But uh, looks like we might be starting an uptrend here. Could be a good idea to go ahead and draw a trend line right there. Yeah, there you go. And we'll see what happens. Uh, we might get back down in this level again. You might be uh, looking to take a buy in this level again if it gets back down in there. Want to wait for your opportunity. It looks like a, a nice head and shoulders pattern just developed as well. And we're starting to get our rally from the, the the second shoulder over here to the upside. So, but we we probably could you know come back to revisit this uh, blue level. I mean, if we do, I would look to take a buy. You know, to maybe the, to the bottom of this uh, aqua level for another, you know, target T T1 or maybe a T2. Depends on your uh, risk tolerance and what time frame you're getting in on and all that good stuff. But uh, I would look to buy this for the short term to the upside. 
until price uh decides to you know turn and go back down again. But uh, that's what I'll be looking to do on this pair. I don't know what do you think, Gabe? Uh, personally, I'd still be looking to the short side just to follow yeah. the trend. But yeah. uh, you know, it's it's kind of head and shoulders typeish price action mm -hmm. makes me wonder a little bit. You know, exactly. That's that's what I was just alluding to earlier. You know, I've seen that head and shoulders pattern. You know, you know what that means when they play out. So, mm -hmm. you know. so this one's kind of interesting. Moving over to the GC and uh, seeing a new low that just basically just popped below uh, a, a little bit of support that we've formed there into really the weekly supply that we're looking for. So I think that is is very intriguing right there. Over here on the daily charts. I got nothing, you know, like it, it just barely touched that level on the weekly, but there's nothing there on as the, as far as the daily goes. So, uh, yeah, it could rally back up here a little bit, but I'm still going to be looking to the downside, you know, so, uh, mm -hmm. looking for the, the sell here just as a new low. Uh, I, I did something very similar to this today. Um, where we had a new low on, on CL, so I, I just sorted into the, the new low, you know, off the zone mm -hmm. in that direction of trend. Mm -hmm. Even though this is a possible area of reversal, giving me enough space up here in that daily level uh, allows me to short down into it. Again, we'll figure out whether or not this low is going to hold right here, but it could lead to a really nice way to get into a, a longer term type of deal. So uh, that's what I'm going to be looking at on this particular one this coming week. So uh, again, I'm, I guess I'm still very bearish on the, the pound markets. And I actually watch like a lot of pound markets too. So mm -hmm. it's uh, kind of crazy how that works. But uh, anyway, Moving right along, uh, UJ markets, um, we uh, hit the a new weekly level that was just below there, coincides with the daily zone right there. Therefore, it's time to pull out the, the smaller time frame and look for price action to confirm this move down here as, as far as a possible counter trend way to get into something. Now, mm -hmm. is it necessarily going to work out? I don't know, you know, uh, I can't tell you. Right now, for me personally, there's not enough conviction on this 60-minute this chart to make me want to go to the long side yet, but it definitely could get there, okay? Breaking that little pivot there makes me feel kind of good, all right? But uh, I still want to wait for a little bit more before I enter in a, into a uh, counter trend long. But I would still be looking to, to buy down here. I just want to see breakout and then retest and then a little bit of a scoop outside of this level back to the upside. So we will see how that plays out here as we uh, are going along in the next week. So, But for right now, trend follow is definitely to the downside. It's just there's no way for me to play a daily zone to the downside, so counter trend is the only thing that I could see matching up to the long side there. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to take the next market? Yeah, sure. Uh, Once again, let's blow this weekly chart up. Come on. Come on. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. Oh, you took control. Yeah. All right. All right, here we are in the Aussie Yen, and you can see price is down here in this weekly level. Got down in this weekly level, this weekly demand. We got, we're getting a little reaction off of it this week. A uh, little pop back to the upside. So, uh, but the trend is down, and as you can see, you know, price came down in this uh, demand zone right above it, consolidated in there for a while, and then we just broke through it. Uh, this week, so this level is going to get taken out by the close of this week. And this level is going to be gone, and then we're looking at uh, you know, what price is going to do down here in this level. Um, 
it might be a nice time to get counter trend to the long side in this market as well. Not too sure yet. Uh, here we are on the daily chart, and you can see price just you know making lower lows. There's no is there a daily level? Is there a dead zone back here somewhere? Uh, not that we can see right now. No, we only have 700 days loaded. Oh, okay. All right. So there may be, but we just to to keep the uh, neural network happy, we we only have 700 days loaded on that. So. All right. Um. Well, basically, this is this is in a downtrend, and probably want to wait to get another opportunity to take it to the short side. Uh, looks like this might be a nice area. This this point right here might be a zone could be a zone plotted there could look to see if price gets back here and take a short maybe up in this aqua level and take a short because the trend is down we're just making lower lows as we come down so you know uh, I don't know if there's a daily level here or not this could be an, you know uh, a nice opportunity to get counter trend to the long side back to one of these levels but you know, I'm not. I don't know. I don't. I I can't make that assumption. You know, until you know, I, I have price. You know, telling me we're at a daily zone. Price telling me I'm making higher highs and higher lows off a of daily zone. Price telling me it's time to get counter trend to the long side. You know, I don't have a zone to to give me. You know, the. Uh, the things that I want to see, so I'm not going to take a counter trend long t on this market. Uh, I might go back to, I might take a look at this market later on today, the see if there's a daily level down there. But for right now, you know, trend, trend follow to the downside. This thing's moving down, making lower lows. I just want to look for another sell opportunity. This next market, Pound Aussie. Here we are on the pound Aussie. So weekly's doing. And you can see we're down here. Uh, where is the price? Got down to this uh, weekly demand level, looks like. And got a little reaction off of it, but the trend is down overall. So let's see what the daily is looking like. And here on the daily, you can see why the price reacted. We're at this daily level here. I've been looking to take this counter trend long, uh, like I might have missed it. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I was looking at this yesterday to get in on a counter trend long to the upside. It looks like it's starting to pan out. This daily level is being respected, you know. We got a nice drop, no pullbacks yet. Okay, basically a parabolic move. You know, when you get, see these parabolic moves in the market, you know they're gonna stop all of a sudden and turn all of a sudden. And that's what we got right here on this this drop right here. This this opportunity, the this daily zone was it, I I pinged it as a great opportunity to get counter trend long. And it looks like that's what's starting to pan out here. As we got a green bar, green and golf today on the daily. Now this is interesting that this is actually the pound uh, Aussie, you know. So mm -hmm. uh, it's with the pound markets. I've been very bearish overall. You know, and so yeah. I've been looking at that, but then when it comes down to it, I, I don't know, man. Like that's it's it, it's at a good reversal spot. I mean, but look at how on the weekly charts. Uh, oh, here. Yeah, let's move to the weekly chart there. Uh, there it, it really feels like it's not been respecting the weekly levels. I, I mean, it's close. Okay, but the daily levels, man, you know, like that's that's mm -hmm. the money ticket on that. Weekly mm -hmm. levels have been really like, I would have thought price would have come up here more, you know, and, and at least retested this wick uh, of this, or at least like right right around that area a little bit more, you know. But mm -hmm. uh, that that yeah, that daily level, it it, it respected it quite quite a bit. And you see the end the result in this brown daily zone up here. You see the result. What happened when we got up in there? You see the sell off just sold off. 
sold off just as fast as it rose. This thing was on a tear for quite a few weeks. Mm-hmm. And like I said, that parabolic move came to a halt, and then look what happened. Boom, another parabolic move back to the downside. I feel like this is a good counter trend play, at least, you know, maybe for a quick T1, T2, because, uh, you know, we've gotten good daily level confluence. And I notice things do for a pullback, and it has to pull back at some point. Why not here, you know? And we're getting it. We're actually getting our pullback as we speak. It's a matter of how far is it going to go up. You know, is it going to go up in this zone, stop at the first part of the zone, or is it going to go all the way to the back part of the zone or the top part of the zone and find sellers? Or are we going to bust through this level and keep going to the upside? Who knows? But, you know, I would I would have liked to get in on, like, on over here on the hourly. I would If I'd have been watching this market more carefully, uh, see this big brown zone, that's just... Uh, yeah, I mean, big well, brown zones. Yeah, I re okay. I repositioned it to this guys. So it was just too big of a uh, too big of a zone, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's that's where I like it. And technically speaking, you know, it's kind of already made the retest of the uh, the daily zone. So it's it's just uh, it's challenging, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know, it's just it's just one of those, you know, this this is one of those markets and one of those uh, trades that either gonna make the call or go for it or not. And you know you know if you're going counter trend you know, you probably wanna scale your targets down a little bit just so you make sure you're not trying to get too greedy on the move. But I, I would have liked to get in on that one. You know, I, I think it'll you know I just, 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 just off, just by me seeing the daily, the daily chart and seeing that this thing's in a nice down move, and we gotta, it's gotta get a retracement some at some point. It's got to. And this daily zone is like a prime area for that type of action, and we're we're actually getting it. Just a matter of how far up is it gonna go, you know? And that's why you gotta, you know, set those targets, tighten those targets up a little bit, in my eyes. If you're going to take such a trade, and you know, hopefully your targets will pan out, and you you you'd have made the right decision, and all is well. But you know, <laughs> I wouldn't get too greedy on this counter trend move. Mm-hmm. I definitely wouldn't do that. I I really feel like uh, well, once we change the the level around this level here, uh, mm-hmm. I, I I like that level. You know, mm-hmm. and then the balance off of that level is very interesting to me. But you still, you know, you, the risk reward on this thing is, well, I guess it's about one to one. But you have to be playing right up there next to the high. You know, yeah. So it's just something that I couldn't jump on at that time. You know, right. So and that move happened earlier in the morning. You know, I wasn't right. up at that time. I so. I was trading futures, so I wasn't there either. <laughs> but yeah. it, it's an interesting move, you know. And but because I've already missed this one, I'm probably yeah. not going to try the counter trend. I I, no. I think I'm gonna. It, me personally, I'm going to try to short this thing again because well, one, mm-hmm. it's the pound, okay, and. <laughs> And number two, uh, th- there's resistance right up there, you know? So yeah. uh, give me a little confirmation that, that we're going to touch this level and then bounce back down, and I'll probably take it to the, source, uh, to the short side short and side. Yeah. see if we can't break through all this this chop down there, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, you know, I just, you know, I, I was looking at it, you know, because I knew it's got to it's retrace, it's got to retrace, man. They all, you know, can't just keep dropping. <laughs> and, you know, like I said, if it, if I were to get in on that, you know, short targets, I'm not looking to get greedy on that move. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. So let's move over to the euro pound. And obviously this is the hot ticket right now. And uh, as we're, we were talking about the euro or as we're talking about uh, England leaving the U 
or EU. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see that we've busted the weekly to the upside and we've busted the daily to the upside just a little bit. And I'm feeling like I'm missing some data right now, to be honest with you. So, really? Yeah. Looks like my chart stopped working about a couple hours ago. So, anyway. Huh. Really? I was thinking that this thing was uh, moving down here a little bit more. All right, so here's the, uh, the real data. You can see this thing has uh, moved down a little bit. Kind of wicky today, if you will. But uh, it, it does feel like it wants to go to the downside, I would say. You know, like just how that's, that's working there. So we'll see, and I'm still going to be looking short on this pair overall. So I'm just going to draw that little arrow out there with the, the chin follow. It, it busted the level. And I, I'm going to be looking short. We'll see, you know. This weekly bust makes me hesitate a little bit on the uh, the short play. Just Hold on, dude. I'm stuck on, I'm stuck on your hourly chart. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, there you go. Okay, how about now? Okay, so... Yeah. All right, so now that we have our data issues figured out, uh, the weekly bust makes me a little bit hesitant on the short on this thing, but... You know, it is in the middle of some pretty major, I would say, historical news, you know. Uh, what's going to happen with uh, the EU kind of deal? So because of that, yes, the, the short is potential, but is it going to work out? I, I can't tell you, you know. So we just got to wait and see. So, uh, But I, I'm still going to th think short for right now. However, it, it does kind of feel like we've broken the trend line to the downside there, you know? So, mm -hmm. and the fact that we popped the weekly and the daily zone, you know what? I'm going to start saying that it's looking bullish, but it's time short term bullish. bullish. Yeah. Yeah. When is the Brexit decision? Not, not in, next month sometime? Or? I yeah, I'm not sure. When do they vote on it? They vote on it sometime in the near future. Right. And there's uh, there's big monetary policy stuff here today. So, you know, it's it's all kinds of crazy news over there. Mm -hmm. so. Well, moving over to the UC market. I'm still th seeing this thing as short. I drew a trend line on this market just because I feel what's going on here could be a nice little trend line bounce in the, the daily and weekly. And I think that's what we've seen today is that trend line bounce. So I'm going to say let's go short, you know. Mm -hmm. let's, let's just go short off that weekly level, okay. Go short, see how it goes, and uh, then all we need to do over here is to wait for a little bit of confirmation that that's going to pull out. So uh, I, I need to see roughly a new low uh, get put into place here, you know. So we'll see how that works out. But that could work out here in the next couple hours uh, on the, the uh, hourly here. So it's just a matter of how big a stop are you going to put on this particular trade because right now, just that wick is 129 pips big. So that's a pretty good size stop. So we'll uh, we'll just wait on that one for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I, I don't really like risking over 100 pips, so it's just one of those things. Yeah. So uh, next but not last, and next but not least, you know, we have this market. And this market I actually got a short on earlier, actually I should say late last night, uh, got a short on this thing, and it was, it was pretty cool. I, I felt good about the shorts. Uh, just taking it out of this daily zone, uh, but right now I am flat because price has come up here and taken me out. So we will see how that continues to play out, you know. I, it it was uh, it was a good short I thought one two targets and it worked through it and a little bit extra, but now it's come back up here and kind of does what all forex markets do well and that is it ranges all over the place hmm. so oh what uh, june 23rd is uh the vote day just so june, you know well that's next week mm -hmm. wow it's in a week wow. so kind of interesting you want to take the last two markets here yeah, sure, why not? We got a euro dollar. Let's take a look on the weekly. Here we go. Here we are on the euro dollar, and you can see uh, prices up in this yellow weekly supply zone. Seems like we got a little reaction off of it the past couple of weeks. Uh, looks like this thing's just in a, it is in a big broad range, actually. And basically, we're at the top of the range again on the, as as far as a weekly standpoint. Let's see what's going on on the daily. And as you can see here on the daily, getting a nice drop. You know, came up into this daily brown zone. We got a drop from it. Came right back up into this. This looks like a nice supply zone area right here. Got a little bit of consolidation and fall from it, and we've been dropping. Made a new, uh, new daily supply zone here in this brown zone or blue zone. Got another reaction off of uh, the buyers in this brown zone back up and in this blue zone. And lower low today. Basically, it's, uh, just looking to take a short off of it. You know, you're looking to go counter trend to the upside off of the brown zone. And we we say that the trend is up right now. So I'm I've been looking to get long over the past few days on this thing actually, and I I still haven't found an entry. You know. Yeah, that yeah. I don't know. It's it just hasn't happened. Uh, I've been measuring out my my risk to reward on this thing, and it, it just hasn't confirmed yet. You know. So uh, I'm hoping that maybe I can get into a position here today or tomorrow to the upside, but you know what? Uh, I'm not going to let it bother me whatsoever. You know, um, right. I, I was looking at, uh, well, you, you, I, you guys can obviously tell how much I've been drawing on this thing. So uh, based on this consolidation, I draw it, I saw it popping up and then putting in another level somewhere in there and then popping up again. And it sure enough, it did that. Uh, but look at that. <laughs> I mean that, that that was crazy big, you know. So, and I, I didn't want to take it today, just based upon all that that news coming out of uh, of uh, England. Yeah, I feel like we're coming back down off the top of the range, you know. Um, you know what I'm saying? Off the weekly chart, and you know, it's just I don't know. It's kind of like in no man's land right now, really. Hmm. Uh, you know, I would like to play the more extreme part of the uh, top of the range back here somewhere. But right now, it's like, oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> as as we speak now, where price is now, it's kind of like a no man's land to me. If right. you're looking to take a, a, an entry. But, yeah, because basically we're back in the middle of the range, off, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I don't know. It's kind of iffy. But well, yeah, I feel like we're coming back down off of that weekly zone. So I feel like 
I, I can see the, the trend line to the downside here, okay? Mm -hmm. But off the weekly chart, remember the, the pattern that we are talking about? Mm -hmm. That's where this comes into play. That's where the long and the, the daily perspective to the upside. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, I know that this is probably a yearly perspective, you know? Mm -hmm. I, that's just what I see happening, you know, long term, because we saw boom, boom, consolidation in the middle, pop right there, and it it, it should do this, you know, but it's just taken a while. Now, mm -hmm. when I see a daily level act like this right there, mm -hmm. to me, that's the bottom of the range, you know, so... I still feel like things are to the upside there, you know? It's yes. just in a huge, huge thing, you know? Like, uh, I've been long up there, and, you know, I, I've gotten out, and, and now I'm just looking to get in here again as I feel like I've found a new bottom, and I'm, I'm just going to try to scale into this position weekly, uh, uh, you know, into this crazy big Euro trade. Uh, and that started a few months ago. <laughs> That's what I'm yeah. trying to do, you know. Yeah. So I just, I just know. See, man, the thing with me is with this with this market, I just know that the dollar's still stronger than the euro, for one. Yeah. Uh, next month we might raise uh, the interest rate on the dollar. They might they might tighten again. So. I know because they were talking about it just recently, and the the euro is still weak, man. And I, I, don't, I don't know, Gabe. <laughs> I feel like we're at the top. And this, and speaking of this brown zone, this daily brown zone that you're looking at getting long on, I see it as getting weaker and weaker. Look how many times it's been touched, and look at the retracement off of the most recent move out of it. Yeah, it didn't go that high. Well, so, I don't know, man. <laughs> It's it's not primed and ready for it yet, okay. Yeah. But uh, that's and that's okay that you don't agree with me. I I'm not gonna get my feelings no, hurt. Well, but. Yeah, we all. That's why we're traders. We all have our different you know opinion. But like me 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 personally, <laughs> I feel like you know it's gonna. I think it's gonna go down some. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna see a see a short term sell off. Yeah. Before it goes back up again, I feel that's just my my personal thought. It, 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 and the market can do anything that it wants to do. <laughs> but I know that yeah. I'm not going to let the news dictate, you know, what I'm, what what's actually price is telling me to do. You know, yeah. now right now price hasn't told me to go long. You know, no. it, it, it's it's done some interesting price action, and I've been pretty good at predicting this so far but uh, and yes that was only a couple of days of prediction out there on a 60 minute time frame but still now that the that moves completed and now that we have like a new low I don't like the fact that it took out this big green candle uh, because mm -hmm. it's a big green candle you know like it should have respected that you know but mm -hmm. but it didn't so it's not telling me yet to go long but it is definitely uh, I have that on my radar okay now right. where do I take the short you know uh, that would be the next question is where do you take the short do you take the short out of all this consolidation that's just right above that yeah, maybe but uh, that's not telling me to do that either so yeah, that's why I, I said it's kind of stuck in no man's land right now Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's going to tell me to go long first before it tells me to go short. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. But we'll just see how it plays out. Because if we get the pop of, of that level right there, you know, I think we'll see a quick pop of this area and, you know, we'll be right back up there, you know, right on the top of the, the daily bars. So, or the, that mm -hmm. daily range, if you will be. So, mm -hmm. but you know, then again, the market could do anything that it wants to do. So maybe it'll just meander around here for another like 
two months and, and I'll be <laughs> like, dude, I don't want to touch this thing. You remember how that was, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll just wait and see. The, yeah. the real question is where do you want to put your money behind, you know? So mm -hmm. uh, that's the real question. So, so just, just play it safe, you know? Uh, wait until the price really tells you to do one or the other would be my recommendation. So go ahead with the uh, next market. Sorry that I we, we turned into a <laughs> little debate there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just that, that marks no man's land right as, as we speak. So, yep. But, uh, here we are in the New Zealand dollar, and you can see a uh, price coming back down in this demand zone and getting nice, finding find a nice uh, area for the buyers to step in. They push the market right back up. So, you know, I don't know about right now, but a couple of weeks ago would have been a nice time to get along, obviously. Here we are on the daily chart, and as you can see, how uh, price respected this big brown level right when we got to the bottom of it. Boosh! We got a nice pop to the upside. Here we are, kind of consolidating off of this supply zone up here. The past couple days, today looks like a nice big indecision day, as we didn't get much price movement in one direction or the other. We're just kind of stuck in the middle of the opening the close, or the opening the bottom of this candle right now so uh, it's like price is trying to reload and do something next I don't know if we're going to get another pop to the downside or not because obviously there's no level to play off of in the middle of this in the middle of these two zones here uh, this could you know possibly be an area to look for buyers here at this uh, this red candle this could have been a nice zone we like to mainly want to mainly draw one in right here looks like software didn't catch it or whatever I don't know. I don't know if we're going to keep continuing up or not. Or if we're going to find sellers up in here again and get pushed back down to the downside right now. Yeah, the hmm. thing's had a lot of indecision lately. Um, mm -hmm. Just want to thank everybody for joining us today and uh, looking at price action on all the Forex markets. Please feel free to join us next time. We do this weekly. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.